Grand rising, my beautiful people. Thank you for joining me today for this morning prayer. I do appreciate you. So the scripture that came to mind this morning when I woke up was 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's right. And the other one is Psalms 91 and 1. For they that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Um, you guys should definitely li- uh, read the entire scriptures, chapters of those books. So let's go ahead and start off with prayer because that's what we came here to do, right? Thank you, Lord, for this time we have together. Thank you for allowing the viewers to come to this channel and to receive this prayer this morning. I thank you for the things that you've done for us, that you have allowed us to wake up again this morning and this day. Thank you for this day. We ask for prayer for the removal of fear, Father God, because we know that it's not of you. We need your guidance to help us to continue to look to you and not look into fear. Anything that is in us that is causing us fear, Lord, we ask that you would send a healing power, your healing from your anointing to remove this spirit of fear, Father God, casting it out into the pits of hell where it belongs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord God, we ask that you would fill us up with your Holy Spirit and your anointing. Help us to receive your Holy Spirit, Lord God, and welcome and invite your Holy Spirit. Also, forgive us of our sins because we know that fear is not of you, so that will be a sin there. So, Lord, forgive us for being fearful of anything, Lord God, but also build us up and give us strength to continue to move forward and not be afraid of anything, Lord God but you. We fear no one but you, God. We thank you because you are the one who sits high and looks slow. You are the one who has complete control over anything that is going on. So Lord, help us with our doubt and unbelief. Renew a steadfast spirit within our lives and help us to be strong in you, Father God, no matter what we do. Lord, we put you first as we come here this morning. We're starting our day off with you, Lord God, because you told us to put you first and we're here to do so, Lord God. We thank you for your covering, Lord God. We need your covering because if anything, uh, you're the one who needs to send our covering and be there for us to help us, Lord God. But we also need our angels guards, guides, and spirit guides, Lord God. We need them now. Lord God, dispatch your angels to us to help us and protect us right now, Lord God. Protect our children. Protect our homes, cars, trucks, and lands. Surround us with a brilliant white light of protection, a hedge of protection around us, our family, friends, loved ones, homes, cars, trucks, and lands, Lord God. Lord, thank you so much for a steady mind. For those of us who need a, a mind to be steadfast in you, Lord God, help us with that. Lord, heal us and heal our minds. Heal our eyes, our nose, our ears, our throats. Every vascular, our vascular system, cardiovascular system, send your Holy Spirit. Allow your anointing to flood us, Lord God, to heal us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Anyone um, dealing with anything in their feet, their legs, their back, their stomach, their chest, their breast. Their, um, anything that's going on with their life, their arms, any um, ailments in their body, Father God, we ask that you would touch us now and heal us now. Lord, we know that you are here and you're willing and able. You said, ask and you shall receive. So we're here to ask humbly, Father God. We're asking humbly that you would be with us. Lord, bless our businesses and our homes and anything that we put forth to do, any schoolwork that we have, Father God. Bless us, especially um, giving us the knowledge and understanding of what you want us to do in this life, Lord God. Lead us and guide us in every way. Order our steps in your word, Father God. Help us to continue to look forward to you and to move forward and not look backwards, Father God. That we continue to walk um, the straight and narrow and be strengthened in every way. Open our ears to hear the things that you have to say to us. Open our eyes to see the things that you need us to see, Father God. Open our eyes to be strengthened in the spirit so that we can see the things before they come. And anything that we've dreamed about that is not of you, Lord God. We counsel the, the schemes of the enemy in our dreams. 
We bind all of the dreams that are not of you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And anything that may have tried to take root in those dreams, we bind those things in the name of Jesus Christ and we loose them into the pits of hell where they belong never to return again. Lord, heal us now and continue to see us the way that you've seen us when we first came to you here, God. Lord, just like you left the 99, Lord, help us and come to us just like you came to the one that was lost help us and find help us to find the way that we need to go lord there are many things that we have done wrong and we ask for your forgiveness we don't even know sometimes some of the things that we do because of course we are human and you know that that's why we know that you've given us your lord and say we've given us the lord savior jesus christ to die for our sins so you continue to cleanse us and purify us each and every day every hour lord god every second of the day forgive us and cleanse us of the things that we have done wrong continue to lead us righteously father god make us righteous before you lord god cleanse our hands and feet of anything that we have done wrong Father God, we ask that you would heal our enemies as well. You tell us to pray for our enemies. We're here to pray for them, that they would have a steadfast mind and be um, protected and help them to see things the way that you see them. Help them to accept you, Lord God. Come come to the, our enemies and help them to be a, be a better blessing to all of those that they come in contact with, Father God. Help, the, help them to turn their evil eye away from us but to even bless us. You said you would cause our enemies to be at peace with us, Father God, and we ask that you would do so now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God. We thank you for this. Heal our very lives and those that need jobs and cars and homes, Father God. We ask that you would touch them now and send them that very need, um, send them that very present help that they need, Lord God. Every child that needs your help, Father God, Help them bridle their tongues and help them to um, do the right things, Father God. Every child, help them to continue to thrive in life and be successful. Lord God, we thank you. Help them to be more like you. Help them to know who you are, Lord God. We thank you and we bless you and we magnify you. Thank you for this healing that we accept now. We accept this healing with open arms, Lord God. Let your anointing flood us now. Let your anointing fall fresh on us. Thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me on this prayer. All it takes is this amount of time to come to God early in the morning, seeking him and asking him to help us throughout our day and everything will be fine. So continue to do this with me. Each morning we're going to come here and we're going to pray. So always do that. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the bell notification. That way you will not miss anything. Yes, not miss anything. Thank you guys so much for all that you do for this channel and all that you're doing for the Lord. He's going to reward you in due season. Thank you. In Jesus name we pray. Amen.